Dear students, Assalamu Alaikum. Today our topic is nervous system in animals. Dear students, in animals we find two kinds of coordination systems. One is the nervous system and the other is the endocrine system. The nervous coordination is brought about by the nervous system and the chemical coordination is brought about by the endocrine system. In lower animals like hydra and insects, coordination is through the nervous system. But in the higher animals, the vertebrates, the coordination takes place through both the nervous system as well as through, through the endocrine system. The nervous system is composed of specialized cells called neurons or nerve cells, which exercise control by sending electrical signals called nerve impulses. The nervous control is speedy and flexible, but its effect is localized. The endocrine system consists of specialized glands called endocrine glands, which bring about control by sending chemical messengers known as hormones. The nervous and the endocrine system collectively form the neuroendocrine system. Now, what are the functions of nervous system? The nervous system serves the following important functions. Number one, sensory input, which means gathering information. It monitors the changes occurring inside and outside the body. Number two, integration, which means to process and interpret sensory input and decide whether the action is to be needed or not. Number three, motor output. It is the response to integrated stimuli. This response activates the muscles or glands. Now, the composition of nervous system. Nervous system is composed of nervous tissues. Nervous tissue is further composed of two main cells, neurons and glial cells. The neuron is the structural and functional unit of the nervous system. Now, we will take a look at the structure of neuron. All neurons have three parts, cyton, dendrites and axon. Coming to the cyton, cyton is also known as cell body or soma. It is just like a typical cell containing a central nucleus and surrounding cytoplasm. The cytoplasm has mitochondria, Golgi complex, neurofibrils, neurotubules, and lysosomes. Around the nucleus, there are granules called nasal granules, which contain free ribosomes and prominent clusters of rough endoplasmic reticulum, which help in protein synthesis. It receives no impulse from, from dendrites and transmits them to axon. Dendrites Dendrites are several short tapering branched protoplasmic outgrowth emerging from the cell body of neuron. Dendrites are the receiving or input portions of neurons. Their neuroplasm contains both neurofibrils and nasal granules. They receive sensations or stimulus from the receptor cells and initiate the no impulse. Now the axon. Axon is the longest part of the neuron. It is a single elongated fiber that arises from the cyton at cone shaped elevation called axon hillock. An axon of a neuron propagates nerve impulses towards another neuron. An axon contains mitochondria, microtubules and neurofibrils. Nasal granules are absent in axon. Hence, no protein synthesis occur in axon. The cell membrane of axon is called as axolemma and its cytoplasm is called as axoplasm. The axon has an insulating and protective sheath of lipids and proteins known as myelin around it, which is secreted by the Schwann cells. The gaps between two adjacent myelin sheaths are called nodes of Ranvier, where ion exchange takes place in between the exoplasm and the extracellular fluid. The axon endings are highly branched processes called as axon terminals or telodendria. So dear students, this was all about the neuron and inshallah, in our upcoming videos, we will be discussing about other parts of nervous system. Till then, stay home, stay blessed. Thank you and assalamu alaikum.